Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a 2024 presidential election prediction between Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. So first, we're going to look at the approval of the candidates. So right now, Joe Biden is sitting at 41% approval, the worst in modern day history. And looking at a five-way race, which we're not doing today, Trump is up by five. And it seems like definitely takes more away from Kennedy, the other independents and Jill Stein and, and West. But in this video, we're going to be doing a Trump versus Biden versus Kennedy. And Trump's up 4%. That is really huge for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is usually never up in any polls. And if you're a Democrat, you're really concerned. I mean... Kenny's pulling at almost 20%. He's hitting Ross Perot numbers back in 92 and 96. So this would definitely play into a factor if Trump if Trump wins the popular vote, which it looks like he will in this in the in these poll in these combination of polls, he's easily gonna win. So I'm looking at the safe states for the Democrats. It's just going to be, we haven't seen a, you know, another candidate on the ballot in many years. The last time we really saw a competitive third party candidate was back in 1992 and 1996 with Ross Perot, which he, he did very well, especially for a independent candidate. All right, so these are the safe states for each respective party. I don't believe that Kennedy is going to get any electoral votes out of this. The closest state I could see him getting some votes is maybe, you know, Utah was one of those weird runs back in 2016 when Evan McMillan, he did he came in second place in Utah. He, Hillary Clinton came in third in Utah. But, you know, there's not really a diverse state that I can really see being a, in a Kennedy column. But if he does, that would be really good if you ever ran as a third party in the future. So we're going to go from west to east. So I think Nevada is going to go to Donald Trump by about a mean margin, by around 2%. Kennedy... We have to see how Kennedy does with Hispanics. Joe Biden does really bad with Hispanics. Donald Trump does better, for sure. Donald Trump's doing really well with Hispanics. I mean, Joe Biden's still probably going to win the Hispanic vote overall. But, you know, Donald Trump has been cutting into that, especially in Nevada and Texas. So that's in my, definitely Miami, in Miami-Dade County. That's going to be interesting. Arizona. A border state. I think that's going to be mean. Mean for Donald Trump. I think Arizonians have had enough with the border. And they have en had enough with Joe Biden. Colorado, where they took Trump off the ballot in the Republican primary. That may not go over too well with some Colorado voters. So I think, with, especially with Kennedy on the ballot, that's probably going to be around the seven to eight point victory for Joe Biden. Definitely can get into the noon time around five percent, but I think seven in between seven and eight percent around there would definitely be more likely. New Mexico, very Hispanic, and it's a border state. So I think that I think that Joe Biden's gonna win it by around five percentage points. It's gonna be interesting to see how low the margins will go as Joe Biden won this state by around 10 percent and you know we didn't really see a big hispanic shift in 2020 as we saw in texas and florida so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see i think donald trump's gonna blow out texas by around 15 points or more especially with rfk he's gonna take a lot of independence the border is a mess in texas texans have had enough with biden it's going to be brutal for Joe Biden and, and the state of Texas. In 
Nebraska is second district, where in Douglas County, especially where Omaha is, I think Donald Trump's gonna win it. Probably around one percent or less. It's gonna be really close. It's actually a pretty democratic area, which is pretty surprising. You don't really think that a we saw in twenty twenty where Joe Biden won this district. Pretty surprisingly. But I think Donald Trump will flip it back and win it by around half a point to a point. Minnesota, I think margins go really no. I think Biden wins Minnesota by about five percentage points. In 2020, he won it by 7.5. In 2016, Harry Clinton only won it by 1.5 percent. So, <clears throat> I would not I would not be too surprised if you know we could start seeing 2016 type numbers as Donald Trump really has to do really well in the Minneapolis area and the suburbs there. He started to lose the suburbs around the metropolitan area and where he won in 2016. Iowa, I think Iowa's gonna be safe. Trump blew out in the Iowa caucus. Um, Wisconsin, I think Wisconsin's probably gonna be around mean to tilt, so I think around a one to two percent percent victory for Donald Trump. And right now, Trump is still sitting around 200 electoral votes. But I think Trump's going to do very well in the West Belt. I think Michigan's going to flip back to Donald Trump. Macomb County is going to be huge on election night right outside of Detroit. Trump did not perform well in 2020. He performed very well in 2016. So Trump could get 2016 type numbers. He'll easily win the state of Michigan. Ohio, I'm thinking around a 10-point victory for Donald Trump in the state of Ohio. Um, Florida, I think that's going to be safe for Donald Trump, especially with Hispanics. Trump's doing very, very well with Hispanics as of late. Georgia, I think this is going to be on the rather smaller wins for Donald Trump. I think around a point to a point and a half, two points at best. As the Atlantic, Atlanta, metropolitan area. I've just been going super far to the Democratic side. It's just going to be a little hard for Trump to win. But if he could cut those numbers, he can easily win. And that's what I see him doing. North Carolina, easy win for Donald Trump. Three to four, maybe five percentage points. Virginia is going to be very close. Um... I think Biden wins it by around a mean margin. There's a lot of independence. And I think, you know, I think well, this is probably going to be one of Kennedy Jr.'s best states. I think Virginia and PA is where he's going to do the best. And, well, I forgot to do um, Maine's second district. I think Trump will easily win it by around seven to eight points and PA I think Trump it's, he's going to win it by around another mean margin type victory I think you know Kennedy is very Kennedy and Biden are both very in that your vehicle and you know solar panels and stop mining and that's not going to go over well in PA PA's entire economy is fracking. And they're trying to get rid of fracking now, and that's going to be huge. And I think that's going to be a fatal blow for Joe Biden in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> and the final state, New Hampshire, I think, once again, if Trump picks Nikki Haley, I'm going to say this over and over, if Trump picks Nikki Haley, he's going to win New Hampshire. Especially because Chris and Nunu on their side, he's going to win. So this is my 2024 Trump v. Biden v. Kennedy prediction. I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.